believe in things. I don't. You see, the reason why I always try to gain knowledge about the Bible is that I believe in God. So once I believe in God, I, I don't see why somebody should ask me a question about Him and I don't know. You know. So if I'm asking you what you believe in, you know, yeah. no, I just I just want to what. Agnostic. Agnostic. Yeah, that's what I am. It's most of the most of the time the the pronunciation is why you Mrs. Call Adjo or something. Is it I call what? I heard Adjo talking. Oh, is Adjo a speaker? No, I didn't hear anybody talk. Wow, I heard Adjo talk. Why you don't do the same side? Oh no, no, I was using the dictionary, the Google dictionary to pronounce the word properly. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Yeah, that was good But then again, eh, you see, when when it comes to like religion and everything, okay, I I was on the Christian side for a very long time, pretty much all my adult life. Um, so it's not like I'm coming from a place of not understanding your side of like I, I've I've been on your side of the aisle. I have been that crazy person who was pretty much always in church after high school, um, seven, and I, I was in the mix. I was there, like in it, in it, in it, in it. But then again, I just started, you know, like really reading the book for myself, okay? I really started reading the book for myself and trying to understand some of the things that were said in the book. And then I just seen a lot of very, very strange concepts. Like, for example, slavery. For example, slavery is in the book. I see instances of rape. Okay? I see all these contradictions. Like, one of them, like the example I've given you, you want to punish somebody, but then you punish that person with the same punishment that the other person did. Those, those concepts, those things I read... I'm like, yo, this cannot come from a god, like a, a, a like an absolute person who is supposed to say who is said to be omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. Firstly, you say he's omnipotent. That means he's all powerful. Omniscient, he's all knowing. Uh, omnipresent, he's everywhere at the same time. If you have to take even the omniscient side, it means that his book that he has given to us, which we are reading which has been the subject of confusion even among the Christian faith. Because even amongst Christians, we do not, you guys do not even agree on doctrine. Okay? Yeah, because when the Bible Christian, was not given to us by God. That's just a question. When I, was, when, I, when I was in my church, my pastor's doctrine was that Jesus Christ is God. So in our church, we never believed in the concept of Trinity as in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And when I was in church then, I mean, I used to question a lot of, a lot, even in my mind when I was sitting down listening to those messages, I, I recall one time my pastor was preaching and in trying to justify, there was a, I think there's a Bible account in the Bible, which there's a Bible account which talks about um, how Jesus Christ was baptized by somebody and then a voice in heaven spoke to him or something like that. You remember that account? He said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased or something like that. Do you remember that account? Yeah, that I was the baptism Jesus. of Jesus at Jordan. Yes, but yes. And then, yes, and my pastor just justified that, that that narration of the Bible with saying that God is God and God can do everything. And I remember sitting in my seat and then asking myself, okay, so you said God is one and he is Jesus. And the God we are talking about was in the Jordan River. And a voice from heaven was talking to that person and saying that this is my son in whom I am well pleased. And your only justification, your only explanation for that was that he's God and so he can do whatever he likes. You know, those are some of the points, even though I was very kind of young, you know, some of those things never start well with me. Otherwise, you go on and on and on because I, I understand the tangent on which you are on, and I agree with you. It could be, it could sound a bit. That my point is that even among the Christian, for example, we cannot even agree on a lot of things. We cannot agree on, for example, and, and the and that's fine. And that, that's what I'm going. That's fine. You see, in as much as I understand you, a lot of doctrines between the churches, you have different different doctrines, right? 
we cannot agree on the way to Jesus Christ because a lot of people believe that um, you need to go to Jesus Christ to you need to go to God through Mary. Some believe that you need to go through God through Jesus. We cannot agree on the Sabbath day, whether it's Saturday or Sunday. We cannot agree even on the foods we are supposed to eat as a Christian faith when I was part of it. Some would say you should eat pork. Others would say do not eat pork. So in our church, for example, our pastor said that um, what God has made clean, let no man um, say it is unclean. So in our church, we were allowed to eat whatever we, we wanted. But among some other Christian doctrine or Christian faith, they will tell you not to eat pork. Issues even on issues on even, even on issues of abortion, etc. There is an account in the Bible which talks about a procedure which is abortion. But then again, the Ten Commandments says that thou shalt not kill. So when you know when I was there, I was just really trying to understand all these things. And the thing about Christianity is that for you to be a Christian, you need to you need to do you need to not ask questions because once you start going on the journey of asking. No, no, um, no, no, you see, you see, you cannot speak these statements and think it's a fact. Me, I'm a Christian, and you know the questions I've asked before. I asked a lot of questions. I have chosen to believe what I want to believe because, first of all, the Bible is not the word of God. The Bible contains the word of God. That's a, another mistake. The word of God was not given to us by God. It was written by men under the inspiration of the Spirit. You know, another thing I want to say is that one of the things that is helping the church, or it's not, it's not helping the church, is the difference in doctrines. You understand? But if you really know God for yourself. So you really know Jesus for yourself. You know Jesus. That's in fact, Jesus is not the founder of Christianity. In fact, Jesus is not a religious person. In fact, um, what, what, what do I want to say? That um, it, it will shock you that Jesus does not even belong to any church. You see, the kingdom of God eh, is a kingdom system ruled or governed by certain laws. You understand that is why He's our Lord and personal Savior. If somebody is your Lord, He's your master. Or somebody is your, for example, if you have a landlord, in as much as you are paying for the rent, in as much as you have a room in the house for yourself, there are certain things you cannot do based on maybe the contract you have signed. That if you are living in my house, don't do so, so and so and so and so. You understand? Maybe in another landlord's in another house, the landlord has different rules for them, you understand? But are we all living in our houses? Yes, we are all living in our rooms. Maybe our rooms are different. When it comes to doctrine, right, you cannot really judge the religion. When I'm even arguing, I'm doing, it's not, should I even call it an argument? When I'm talking about these things, right, I don't even speak for religion. I speak for the kingdom, the kingdom of God. And when, when it comes to the kingdom of God, there are a lot of things that differ. You know, things are not the same as you may take it literally. You know, so if your, if your pastor ever said that God can do whatever he wants, it is true he can do that. However, is it also true that man can do whatever we want? Yes, it is very true that man can do whatever we want. I can, assuming God has told me I'll be the president of Ghana right now, and I enter my kitchen and I stab myself, I've killed myself. Did God really say I'll become the president? Yes. Can God really do it, everything? No, because he didn't, he didn't stop me from dying. Did I kill myself? Yes, I did, out of my own will. Did that stop what God has said about me? Yes, I stopped it out of my own will. So you see, in as much as certain things can be done by God out of his own sovereignty, when we talk about the Trinity, for instance, right, there, there, is, a, there is the administration part and there is the, import, the essence part. So God, when we say God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, in administration, they are in an administration, they have different works they do, but in essence, in sovereignty, they are one. So how how will I best even put it? I will say that the Trinity is God in one unity, in one communication, in, in one diversity, in the community of the Godhead. You understand? So we see the Bible say, and the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your foot too. What we see is that the Lord saying to my Lord was more like another Lord coming out of the Lord that was already seated. You understand? And you see, one thing that we must understand is that before God decided to create, he was already God. Creation was one of the things he decided to do. You know, so in, in before before man came into existence, you understand, it was not the creation of man that, that made God God. It was when God decided to create man that he was also referred to as the creator. But before creation, God was already existing. He decided to create night and day. But ask yourself that the 
person that created night and day, what was in his realm before he created that night and day? You know, that is one of the things we can also use to say that God can do whatever he wants. You know, in fact, he decided to create, even if you don't believe in it, it is what it is. You know, I may not be able to defend or give you evidence because you and I were not there. But I have chosen to believe in it and I may not be able to explain myself. But for you to come and disprove me for believing in something I have chosen to believe in, without you giving me any proper evidence or something to also hold on to. Trust me, if Satan also came out telling us that he has a certain son who can also die to save men, maybe we can have that debate and have that argument of where we should go. You understand? But after I've, after I've grown to a certain point where I can reason for myself, and after reasoning for myself, I have still decided that this is the path I want to follow because I have read of a man who, say, who is saying that he's the only way He's the only truth and he's the only life. And I'm saying that mm, those are powerful. I will follow this man. I don't think somebody should be bothered. However, this man has also given me a commission to win souls for his kingdom, not his religion, for his kingdom. You understand? Now, in winning the souls, there could be strategies. That is why the church system comes in. So when we run a ministry and we are doing revival, 10 days revival, 7 days revival. It is only because we don't know the people that will attend the next revival and the next revival and the next revival. Who knows? Maybe a certain soul that must be saved will come for the third revival. And it is in that commission, it is in that strategy of doing ministry work is what the churches are used to are you are using to win souls. However, it does not mean that that is the original intention of God, but he could approve of that strategy. So you see, in the winning soul of in the winning of souls or in the running of God's ministry, which we see as the church system, in uh, in the administration of this commission, strategies are being devised. Doctrines are being devised. In fact, some of the doctrines are being devised to favor the people in that particular church or in that particular category of Christians, you know, so that it, it may look flexible for them. So there are people who believe in the speaking of tongues. There are people who don't believe in the speaking of tongues. There are people who believe in the spirit of prophecy. There are people who don't believe in the spirit of prophecy, but they are all one in terms of believing in Jesus Christ. And you see, it is a concept that we that believe in Jesus, we are one. Forget doctrine. You know, this is the baseline of every, this is the baseline of life. That you see, let them be one just as we are one. I in them, you in me, and they in us. So it's, th this is the life we are talking about. You understand? Forget the doctrine. This is the kingdom system of God. This is how God wants things to be. He's calling all men unto himself. And he has positioned men and they have devised strategies in doing that. You understand? And men have broken out to call it religion. Men have broken out to call it ministry. You know? But the real intention of God is the kingdom system. And in that kingdom system, he has made us what? A, 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 he has made us kings also to rule from this earth. You understand? But in the last day, you see, in the conclusion of everything that i'm saying right you can I'll choose to believe I'll ask you a question though um like all, all the points all the points you have made like right now about god god like jesus christ not being a religion and it being um a kingdom and um, is it coming from a place of you knowing it as a fact or is it coming from a place of you believing in in that no, that, that is what it is. In fact, that's what the Bible said. I might not be able to give you a scripture, but in fact, even from the Lord's Prayer, you know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. So, you see, it is the will of the Father. The kingdom is the will of the Father. It is that so, coming of the I kingdom. I have a question to that. So, if if uh, my pastor, right, um, also took the same book, and then, then again, made statements which counted what you've said and then then said that his words are coming from god would you take his words as the absolute truth said if your pastor does what's come again please my pastor came out today and mm -hmm. counted the points you are making right now and then told you i've heard a lot of points which, which particular one are you talking about points about jesus christ being like christianity being a kingdom and not being a religion 
gene and, and all that and all that and all that. No, that that's, it, all, that's all that I said. I said that the real intention of God, the real intent of God is about the kingdom of God, not religion. Okay. Religion yes, so is man I'm just, I'm just saying that if, for example, my pastor um, came out also and then said something which counted what you are saying right now and then, then said that what he's saying no is pastor will, No pastor will counter what I just said. That's the fact. No pastor will counter it. No, but I, I'm, no. I just, I'm just coming up to a question that says that if, if, a, if, a, if a different man of God had counter arguments to the point you are making and then, then said that um, his is also the absolute word of God, would you, would you, would you, would you then dismiss your old information and pick up the new so, one? So wait, the, so the truth of the matter is that, first of all, no pastor would debunk what I just said. But however, assuming they do, right, can you stand in for them and try to, and try to debunk what I said or try to bring up something that you feel I can be also believe in? I don't know if you hear what I'm saying. So what's your point? What I'm saying is that what I've said is, is strictly biblical. No pastor will debunk it. But assuming a pastor even wants to debunk it, right? I mean, that's pastor. Uh -huh. Okay, so I just say that what you said is the truth and, and nobody can have counter arguments for it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not telling you my mind. I'm telling you what it is, which is also biblically true. Okay. You understand? So, yeah, it's, about, it's about the kingdom of God. Trust okay. me, there is no there is no way... I don't think Christianity is even in the Bible. The word Christian it is of uh, i i am not sure you know and all i'm just saying is that in the concept or in in the original will of god it is full it is solely about the kingdom of god everything is about kingdom matters you know that is a, that, that is where god watches everything is kingdom 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 you understand so if if you dwell on doctrines that men have devised out of their strategies to develop or build up a church to propagate the gospel, you cannot use that to define the kingdom. However, all those things could work for the kingdom. So the Bible can say that if the devil knew, um, paraphrasing it, the devil knew that Jesus Christ was going to save the world, they wouldn't have killed him. I mean, that's not what is written, but paraphrasing. So in a in natural sense, Satan or the devil was used to play a role in the redemption of men. However, is he, is he somebody that will make it to heaven? No. Was he used by God? Yes. You understand me? So even if you find an error in a doctrine, if you find an error in a church, eh, <laughs> you know, in, in God's in God's own wisdom, eh, maybe he's even using that church to win somebody or to win something or to tell a certain message you may never know. That 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 is the that is the depth of God. You do you cannot try to understand him. It, it is impossible. If you understand God, he is not God. He ceases to be God if you understand him fully. It is impossible. Okay. So the Bible, I... even says, the Bible even says that he is a fountain of light. In his light, we see light. He's a fountain of light. It is in it is in thy light you see light. You understand? It's, the more you are in him, he said, and we shall know him as we follow on to know. You can never get to the point where you think you have arrived in God, where you think you know it all. It is impossible. That's why I, you think Christians will have questions. We have a lot of questions. You know, my house help. Nobody they go church person. Every they work Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays. In fact, the job is a morning job. But because we understand her, her spirituality, even if she come to of okay, fine. Sometimes we vex, but we don't say okay, church level. She lost. She, she lost her child like around December. You understand? And she still make late. You ask her, me say you going from church, and me it they shock me. Say wow, like this this woman is still in the faith. You understand, but it, it, it may be me, self, like maybe I go stop church, you know. So, me, me, maybe she don't even get the knowledge where I get safe about God because maybe she don't if she express herself well. But all you know, be see, you get some worship where you go, church, go worship, you know. So, in her experience of life, she is believing in God, even if it is the devil that took the daughter away, it will not change anything. So, in as much as death of her daughter is an error for her or the death of her daughter is disproving the fact that Jesus is a provider, Jesus is a protector. <laughs> eh? Or no, is disproving the fact that Jesus is a protector. He also re she also remembers the fact that maybe she also prayed to God for that child. So she remembers 
the providing God. But maybe she's disappointed in the protecting God. However, it will not change her belief system about the God he, she is worshipping. You understand? So trust me, experiences could affect people's worship. Doctrine could, ex to, could, um, it could change or influence people's way of worship. However, in the kingdom business of God, whatever will draw anybody to God himself is what he's looking for. Even mm -hmm. if it is the Bible of Satan, that will draw somebody to God. That Bible of Satan, that they realize that the Bible, the Bible the Christians have been using is actually the real Bible that he had to use. It was only when he used the Bible of Satan. So maybe, so you see the role the Bible of Satan had played over there. The Bible of Satan actually made that man realize that the Bible the Christians have been using is the real Bible of life. So this life itself, if you try to explain everything, if you try to box yourself that I am this, trust me, the world, just as you see the world, so is life. You can be standing at one point thinking that you are see, you are seeing it all. But just as you know, right. wherever you are right now, just know you are hanging in space. Wherever I am right now, I am also hanging in space. That is how knowledge is abundant in the world that we may not know it all. But if we choose a certain, you know, if we choose a certain way of life, it is only because we have chosen to believe in it. That is all I have to say. There is no need going back and forth about this because it is not today. That's how we change your belief system. I just want to ask you a final question, maybe one or two more final questions. So yeah, you um, can ask it, but I mean, time to go. You know, before Luke sharp then, because I should say fire every day. That's why I make we go with you know, because we to regret or one or two people for talk to. So Luke sharp. You're born in you're born in Ghana, yeah, right? No, baby, so, no, me a day yeah, and listen, <laughs> forget. You know, me ask your question. Me ask your question. Yes, I that. Um, so you being born on this side of the world, do you agree to the notion that wherever you are born influences the religion you 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 become a part of? You, you, don't even have to me. you see, the point is, wherever you are born into is what will determine wherever you go. You understand? So, if if I was born into a Muslim family, I'll be a bubaka, smile, or something, you know. But that's not the case for me, and it's unfortunate that is the case. That's why I'm saying that in the judgment system of God, we will be shocked who will make it to heaven and who will not, because if we are really going by what, what the Bible said, a lot of people won't go. Why don't you? Why does he let me ask the question I want to ask you? So no, ask me, there's no need going back and forth with me because I don't see what you would do to change my mind, and I also don't see what I would do to change your mind. I'm I'm learning. I mean, so you just, ask. just ask. Don't try to you know use some mind games on me. It won't work. Just ask the question. Let's go. Do you agree that wherever you are born influences the religion you you you? Yes, yes, a part yes, of? yes, I agree. For example, in Saudi Arabia, I'd have been a Muslim. I agree. Don't give an example. I agree. So let's go on to let's go to the question. Let's go. They need to have context. Who, who they understand. The people that listen, they will remain listeners. I will answer the question. So just go. I understand you. Okay. So isn't it, isn't it an unfair system? For example, that you, Cranston in Accra, Ghana, was born on this side of the world, and so you found Christ. But then, for example, a child that was born in China who just knows the ways and practices of a monk would most likely never discover Christ. And so that person doesn't stand a chance of ever being saved. Don't you think it's, don't you think it's an unfair system? It's very unfair. That is why uh, there is a commission. <laughs> that is where we have to propagate the gospel. And I'm telling you that in the propagation of the gospel, there are a lot of strategies, right? There are old stories of people smuggling Bibles into China. You know, I don't know if you've heard of such a story before, but there, there were times where people had to smuggle the word of God. You understand? And you see, this particular thing you are asking, or I mean, whether it's fair or not, <laughs> um, I don't want to say God doesn't really care, but it does not change who he is. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So you can see an unfairness in about the fact that um, if so, okay, what if somebody is just born into an Islam, an Islamic family, and they know nothing about Jesus, or they were made to believe that in fact Jesus was just one of the prophets and not any way or the truth or the life or whatever that the Bible is claiming it is. You know, if that is really the case of you calling God unfair, 
Um, it was fair to also give us a commission to make sure. And he has even said that unless the word reaches everybody, he know will come. So that he will not get an excuse where people will say that they never heard. You understand? So whatever he said, right, there is a provision. There is always that caveat that will give him, you know, think that he will outsmart God. He has a provision for everything. What exactly? I, I was I didn't catch that. He said God said what? Oh, I don't remember. Why you for listening to me? We are just a talk. I, I know that the answer you, but I know they remember. God, God, yeah, is God is everything, bro. Okay, so, God so, is so, everything. Auntie, Auntie, so you're telling me right now that um, say for example, even at birth, right? Even at yeah. birth, when you are born puts yeah. you at a disadvantage even to begin with of knowing who God is. So see somebody who was born in 1960 and grew his life becoming was a Muslim or was a Buddhist or was a Shintoist and died yesterday without accepting Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal savior. Through no fault of his because when he was born influenced one the religion he believed in and he grew up okay, just okay. No, 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 need to, no need to prolong it. I want us to catch it short, short because I get where you are going. You see, another another concept that can come out of this is that, uh, let's see, even even some Christians, right? They have a certain belief system that even if they believe in Jesus, then let's say they went to sin after the sin, or then the trumpet sounded, blah blah blah. Would this like it's a confusion question? Would they make it to heaven, or because they they sinned right before the trumpet sounded, they will make it to hell? Listen. In the judgment system of God, that judgment seat is for him alone. In as much as, see, even your pastor can try to explain this particular example that you are raising, that a man was born into this family or a man was born in this country. It, it, it sounds very unfortunate, you understand? I can only thank God that I was born into a Christian family, you know? I can only thank God for that. And I remember I also said that he has said in his way, that his word will reach everywhere, every part of the world before the, the world will come to an end. So that means that he has put, he has put, he has given us a certain commission and he has put things in place so that the gospel will reach everywhere. Uh, yeah, so look at the internet, for instance. In as much as the internet has a lot of bad things, you know, pornography, a lot of, you know, see the things people use social media to do. It is through, it is through this internet that the go they can be doing a church in Action Chapel right now and I can choose not to go there but I can choose to be in my home and be watching it you understand so God will always use the systems available to work on it, work on what he has to work on that's what I'm telling you that is it also good to even be watching a church from online from home or wherever it, it, it might be convenient but if you are using that same um device you are using to watch the church to also go and do something that is sinful it becomes a bit problematic where you yourself you'll be having guilty conscience about what you'll be doing right so it's just better you go there but however there are people who are also dedicated maybe somebody is in saudi arabia maybe he was a Ghanaian, but he's doing some oil business in saudi arabia he used to be a member of action chapel now the only way the church can reach him or he can also get access to the church is through the internet you understand so trust me the gospel is finding a way to reach places of the world that you don't even know you are here talking about a, ch a child in China. same way we are here talking about certain trends that are happening it's the same way jesus is trending somewhere because they've never heard of him it is not coming up and maybe the trend started because a certain crusade happened and one person that everybody knew was blind God healed and everybody was asking how it happened and they said it was Jesus. That, this is the work Jesus is doing through people. It is not for you to know. Whether you know it or not, the work is still going on. Whether every Christian is is doing what the Bible has asked them to do as the commission to preach the gospel, whether they are doing it or not, there are other people who are doing it. The work is going on. You understand? Now, now let's not elongate this matter because I don't think I'm trying to change your mindset. But trust me, no matter what, I know that I might have said some thought-provoking things. And you have also said some thought-provoking things, right? So there, there are lots of questions that I will also ask or I have also asked myself out of this omniscience nature of God. You understand? However, no matter the question I have, eh, it does not change the belief system. And that has always been my point. So it's an argument of belief system versus belief system. But the people that don't believe in God, they normally don't have any belief system. 
And that is where my problem is with people who call themselves atheists or whatever. Unless, of course, you want to live your life not believing in anything, but if you are living... Why we do not have, you know, why people on this side do not have a belief system? 